Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So today we're looking at the GERT VGA666 adapter as made available by Pi Supply in their recent Kickstarter. So you may have caught my blog about this a couple of months ago, but basically what this is, is it's a VGA adapter that fits on the Raspberry Pi B Plus or A Plus. It doesn't work on the older model B or A simply because there weren't enough GPIO ports to be able to make it work. It needs something like 20 ports to be able to work and the right ports weren't brought out to the GPIO header before. But now they are. GERT has made this available and Pi Supply has actually done a Kickstarter and this is one of their boards which, which GERT had open sourced. So how does it work? I don't know exactly how it works but there are three sets of six resistors uh, going from 500 all the way up to 16,000 and doubling at each step. And this makes a kind of resistor ladder which is kind of like a digital to analog converter. So here's your VGA port and here are the resistors for the ladder. There's also two resistors for the uh, H-Sync and V-Sync horizontal and vertical synchronization. So Aaron supplied uh, this for me to evaluate and review and his version comes with a stacking header. Not strictly necessary, but if you want to be able to use the six remaining GPIO ports, it could be a useful addition. These stacking headers are quite hard to solder though, so in some respects if you want a nice compact installation you might be better off with a non-stacking header. Okay, and the idea is that it enables you to be able to use an old VGA monitor with your Raspberry Pi. Now VGA doesn't have sound, so if you want to be able to say watch Big Buck Bunny or something, which we're going to do in a minute and I'll show you, then you have to plug some speakers or if your monitor has speakers on it and an analog input, you could plug that in. That's what I did with my testing, which you're going to see in a minute. So let's go have a look inside where I've got a nice 1080p television which has both HDMI and VGA on it. Let's go and have a look at that and we'll see if I can directly compare watching Big Buck Bunny using both VGA and HDMI at the same time and see how different they are, if at all. Okay, so the Pi is set to generate 1080p video at 60 frames per second through the GER VGA adapter and this monitor can cope with that resolution and that setting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start up Big Buck Bunny and watch the first few seconds of that to see how good it is. The sound is through the analog port on the Pi. This TV happens to have an analog in. You do occasionally get a flicker. I wonder if we'll get one. It seems to happen more often if you mess about with the volume settings as well, so I'll try that. Oh, there you go. There was a flicker at the bottom of the screen. Doesn't happen much, just occasionally. And again, it's not unusable, just mildly annoying. And again. Okay, that's enough of that. 
if you look at the green part, uh, particularly the P and the I of Raspberry Pi, there you should be able to see the shimmering. Now on the HDMI, I can't see any shimmering. It seems to be a little bit more solid. In use, it doesn't disturb. I don't think it renders it unusable or anything. But that's just a close-up so that you can see the shimmering. So there you have it, a quick overview of the GERT VGA666 adapter as sold by Pi Supply. I'd say it works pretty well. If you really need to use an old VGA monitor, then this is probably a good thing to have. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.